People are getting a first-hand look today at Dunedin Prison. The 117-year-old facility was decommissioned in 2007 after it was replaced by the Otago Corrections Facility at Melbourne. It was purchased last year by the Dunedin Prison Trust, who wanted to let the public see the facilities after growing interest. It just arose out of uh, people asking if they could see through the prison uh, out of curiosity. Like myself, I wondered what it was like uh, inside. And um, yes, uh, there's a lot of interest uh, from the public. Tours are being held twice a week, hosting groups of up to 30 people at one time. Castle says people have shown a lot of interest in the prison, but were excited to get out after the hour-long tour. A far cry from the years many prisoners spent in the confined cells. In cells like these, the prisoners will be forced to spend anywhere up to 23 hours a day, sometimes sharing with up to three other inmates. With over a hundred years of history on display, Caswell says people will gain a real understanding of how the facilities worked right up until it was closed down. It's completely the same as the Corrections Department left it. The Trust is awaiting a conservation plan at the end of this month to see what they are allowed to do with the building in the future. Possible ideas include turning it into a cafe, museum or a possible overnight stay in cells to give people a real prison experience. John McKenzie, 39, Deneen News.